Hello everybody, Slash and VC here. Alright, here's what we got. I made this character, this isn't a random. I want to do the true, fur, uh, true food person. If you haven't played this scenario, it's hilarious, and I've made it even better. Uh, meet Mark Crump, a 20-year-old male who works at a fast food place called, um, what, Food Place, I think it's called? Yeah, Food Place. Basically, it's like a futuristic McDonald's. And um, the thing about the true fur, uh, food person is that, uh, you know, they think they're the real deal. So it's kind of like a guy who uh, idolizes, you know, whatever whatever mascot this place, uh, this place may have, like Ronald McDonald from McDonald's or whatever. The scenario is called The Mascot Rises. So this character is going to start out inside of a food place in the kitchen or the back room of this restaurant they were at work when the uh, cataclysm happened but the thing about the true food person as opposed to just the food person the true food person starts with the uh, food person outfit on and a baseball bat and uh, they've got like a superhero complex it seems like <clears throat> so I played into that a little bit more Mark Crump here um, has coleptic psychosis, which will be fun. And I think it plays into his, um, you know, the insanity of believing that he may be a superhero. I picked up Truth Teller and Ugly for a few extra points. And um, uh, True Food Person. Now, I'm not sure what traits that gives, but uh, I thought that was... I gave him a background in baseball. Because the true food person starts with a baseball bat. Well, why? Well, let's say it's because he plays baseball. That gave me, then, um, a little extra in melee to work with. So I bumped my strength a little bit and dexterity. I dropped my intelligence because, you know. Skills read computers, too. Dodging, too. Food handling, too. I picked up food handling, not because I want it, but of course he'd have it, wouldn't he? Uh, melee, too. Uh, he's been practicing with his baseball bat, you know, to be a superhero. He gets Athletics 1 from his background in baseball, Bashing Weapons 3 from his background in baseball, uh, Social 2 for being a true food person, and uh, Throwing of 2 from his background in baseball. I picked up the uh, Dodging for baseball also. It doesn't actually do that, but I think, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. You're supposed to be able to slide and, and dodge and that kind of thing a little bit in baseball. And uh, computers, too, because, you know, he's 20 years old. He should have a, a decent understanding of computers. Maybe computers one would be more realistic, but, hey, I get, you know, two points for one on that screen. So we're going to go with that. Uh, I think that's everything. Mr. Mark Crump, a true food person superhero, is about to enter Hellrise. Yeah, I'm finished. Um, I got a simultaneous character going on. I'm not sure which one I want to start uploading first. Uh, I'm not going to record too far ahead. But I'm just kind of playing around right now. Seeing what, I, what develops. The uh, texture pack. I decided I wanted to try out this. I really like this so far. I haven't played with it much yet. But I really like this Undead People uh, texture pack. And uh, I looked into chest hole. I cannot get chest hole to work for some reason. I install it just like everything else and follow the directions everything. If it throws an error on chest hole. So I'm trying this uh, undead people. Now, so here's our true food, uh, food person. Why is that so hard to say? Briefs and cargo pants, of course, and a dress shirt and a fanny pack. You got to start with a fanny pack instead of a backpack. Um... Start out with a food place's appropriate snack, and here's the uh, superhero outfit. We got the food person mask, cape, and then the food person has this plastic armor. So I got like this hard chest guard. I'm pretty sure it's plastic. Yeah, a solid vest, a plastic padding protecting your torso. Pretty cool uh, to start with uh, hard chest guard, arm guards, leg guards, rubber boots, rubber gloves. I guess this is for cleaning purposes. Or in his superhero fantasies, it's probably, you know, to keep the blood off. And, uh, socks. Wait, where's my shoes? Shoes. Oh, boots, of course. Rubber boots. Um. And, uh, oh, oh, oh. 
there's my antipsychotics. I have a prescription medication for my um, schizophrenia. Now, one last thing to note, this mask here. Notice it's got a charge of 1,200. I was uh, playtesting this before and found out that you really don't want to turn that mask on. You have the um, option to do that. Food person, the mascot your stomach deserves. You can turn it on. Uh, does it tell you what it does if you turn it on? If, uh, I think it does. So it takes a medium disposable battery. It says action, turn on. Turns into the food person mask on. What it does, and it's really hilarious, but we can't do it because it's going to ruin the run right away. You turn the food person mask on, and basically they're saying that the, the people who work at this place have a heads-up display inside their food person mask, which probably gives them some basic information about the restaurant. I don't know, but it does tell them how long until their shift ends. You can't turn the mask back off until your shift ends. Now, I think that's hilarious. It also It's a source of light. Uh, so there's my built-in flashlight, but you don't dare use it because you can't turn it off and it periodically makes announcements, you know, welcome to food place Well, yeah, I mean you're a zombie magnet if you turn that mask on So anyway, we're in a dark room here uh, There's nothing uh, on these Lockers, yeah, they look like lockers. I don't know this chest uh, uh, Oh, of course, uh, this this guy. I don't know why we start out with this guy, Gerald. Um, Gerald says at least we've got shelter. I guess that's a common thing to say. He says we should look for supplies and other survivors. You know, got any tips for me? Avoid using launchers in narrow hallways. All right. Wow, this guy's really experienced. So does this guy? Oh wait, what's my social get me with this guy? Ah, not a great chance to pair up with him, but I don't think I do want to pair up with him anyway. If I look at what he's got in his uh, for items, oh, I could trade for a soldering iron, huh? Oh, this guy, he's, is he starting with, oh, he's got some books too, look at this, Computer World and Pro Hacker Secrets. Oh, we do want to trade with this guy, or loot his dead body. So he's got a wooden crossbow, well that's, that could be worse. Uh, when I was playtesting this, he started with a double-barreled shotgun, immediately went out and used it, and called all the zombies down on us. And I thought, oh my god. So he's got 10 bolts. He's got 65. What can I trade? Do I have anything to trade him? Oh yeah, my baseball bat. My prescription drugs. <clears throat> would he actually trade me for the food place appropriate snack? Because if he would, that would be awesome. Let's see how to do this. I haven't done this before. If I give him two food place appropriate snacks, that's like eight dollars worth of stuff. Shoot, I don't even need eight dollars worth of stuff. I can get just the two books off of him. Maybe the soldering iron. That's a four dollar thing right there. Uh yeah, let's try it. What do I do? Does it tell me? Auto balance with highlighted items and switch pane. So I just hit enter. Looks like a deal. Accept this trade. Wait. Huh? How do I flag it uh, like so, like so? Okay, so I want your computer world and pro hacker secrets. And soldering iron. He started with stuff that related to my background. That's really interesting. And I'll trade you these two snacks, which will give me a credit of $2. Uh, let's go for it. He'll take that deal. Very cool, very cool. I got some books to read. That's nice. Let's see what job he has. He says, I have a job for you. You want to hear about it? Yeah, tell me about it. Everyone who dies gets back up, right? Which means that whatever is causing this, it must be airborne to have infected everyone. I believe that if that is the case, then there should be regions that were not downwind from wherever the disease was released. We need to find a record of all the weather patterns leading up to the outbreak. Uh, uh sure, I'll, I'll look for that. Thanks so much. You may save both of us yet. Great. I'll be back soon. Please, try to stay out of trouble. So, what do we have in the restroom? We got a pill bottle. Take the aspirin, put it in my fanny pack. 
can't tell if there's something there. Let me do an examine on it. And we got a toilet, which probably has, yeah, it does. It has a little water in it. Okay. And then out here, I don't know why we started in the bathroom. Is there a mirror? Oh, I could practice my social skills in front of that mirror, I think. What do we have? Here we go. If you don't start as the true food person, you can go ahead and put on this armor. <clears throat> Every time I've played through this, I've uh, I found the uh, whole food person's outfit is right there. <clears throat> so there's your basic armor set. Um, and I wonder, can I unload the other food person mask? Is this the one I'm wearing? <clears throat> I can't tell. What if I... Examine that. It doesn't give me a menu. Or does it? No, it doesn't. E or E. Does one of them give me a menu and the other one doesn't? No. Hmm. I definitely want to unload the food person mask, but no. I unloaded mine or his or the other one. Okay, I'm still... Okay, I unloaded my own. So that's fine. But I wanted to, uh, let's see if I can, uh, wear the other one. Here we go. Wait, does the other food person's mask have, I don't think the other one has a battery. Let's look. No, I don't think this one has a battery. Form factors for a medium battery. But it doesn't have a, um... doesn't have a uh, charge icon so that should have put the battery in my uh, yeah I've got the battery in my inventory now yeah it's fine because we don't really need it in the mask so we've got a light jacket here now I'm just wearing a dress shirt I could probably and I'm wearing a cape over my chest guard um, I may be able to put the jacket on but let's see if there's any leather around here what do we got here? Oh, I got some food and stuff. Let's see if I, how much of this food I can carry. All of it so far. And there may be, uh, here's a beauty magazine, another computer world. Ham Radio Illustrated and So Awesome Monthly. Hey, hey, there you go. I need definitely two of those. Let me look here at my, um, I do have a computer world. All right. There may be another book laying around here. Oh, look here. There's weapons. Oh no, steak knives. Those aren't hardly weapons. There's a three liter glass jar here. Fork and a plastic bag and a rolling pin. Some more food. Soy sauce. We got some basic cookables here. Basic water. So we can camp out here for a day. And depending on what my map looks like, that may be absolutely necessary. I may have to slip out of here under cover of night. We got some meat pies. Heck yeah. This is nice. Nice little break room we got here. Can I watch the TV? No, I can't. More food, some tobacco. Mineral water, trap and field. I could just sit up here and read forever. I got an electric blanket. This is a nice little place to sleep. All right, let's have a look at the map and see how dense it is. Ooh, I don't think I like this over map. Yeah, I'm having trouble reading this over map. So when I put this, uh, let's see, how do we switch our, we can switch our over map. Um, if we do that and we go to the settings, options here, graphics. I'm going to change that over map to something a little bit more. Yeah, okay, so it's set to retro days. The Ultica map was a bit much. Oh, let's try the Undead People one. See how it looks. Okay. Map. Ah, oh, that's more readable to me, I think. Ah, oh, that looks good. Yeah. Oh, my God. What the hell is that purple thing over there? So we are dead center in the middle of everything. Looks like I've got at least two blocks to go before I see forest going in that direction. What is this purple thing right here? Ah, Amigo Scout Tower. 
All right, we've got a collapsed tower over here. What is this? Public pond. Is this also some kind of public pond? It's not a sewage dump. Oh, we've got a small dump in the city. Can I tell? I mean, the only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have the kind of like the little flags on it that tell you how important the surrounding buildings might be. But um, so we've got a restaurant. I'm in the restaurant. Yeah, so the restaurant is two tiles wide. Oh, that's interesting. Or are there two restaurants? I don't know. We got uh, houses on either side. Oh, there's a subway station over here. This is a house. Looks like a computer store. Yeah, we may not be able to use this over map. Grocery store, smoking lounge. Oh, ah, G for gun store. Well, looky there. There's a gun store right across the street. There's a bank right across the street. Do I need a bank for anything? Okay. All right. Hey, that's a that's a really pretty map. If I got where I could um, use it, I'd probably like it. The only thing I miss is the color coding, but I might get used to this. So anyway, my point is, if you see, like, we either need to... Oh, well, we either need to base here or we need to find a tall building to base in, right? So let's see if there's anything taller than we are, or if we would even know about that. Oh, well, we don't, because we haven't been up that high, I'd say. So, our taller buildings, there's a house roof across from us that we could maybe go live on. The restaurant has a roof we could go out on. And the subway station has a roof, okay. And there's a house roof, so these, I wonder if these, any of these roofs connect, we'll have to look. Is there an apartment tower? This is what I was thinking about, was moving into an apartment tower, because if I can get straight, uh, ah, office. Office is probably pretty tall, but these are all roofs. I wonder, <coughs> I wonder why none of these buildings are on a, a higher Z level, because it says roof on it. Interesting. Oh, there, the outdoorsman store, that's not the roof. Can I go up? I can't go up because I can't see that high, I guess. Hmm. The gun store has a roof. Boxing gym. The bank has a roof. Okay, so the reason I want to find a roof to go out on... <clears throat> I need to find a way and a building to actually live in and on until I get ready. To, unless I can just make a total escape from the city. Peek through the curtain. I love you can peek through the curtain. I just found that out. Now I can look out on this roof. Ooh, I like this texture pack. It looks good. Is this a skylight? Huh, interesting. Skylights on this one. Hmm. Vent pipe. Don't see any solar panels right away. And we can peek through these curtains. Get a little bit better view. Same view, pretty much. Is this a, got that a window? That's not a window. <coughs> Gosh, pardon me. Okay, this one has... Uh, so this is the restaurant. But not the restaurant that I'm in. I could jump to this roof, and it's got solar panels. And what's this right here? A chain link fence surrounding something else there. And then beyond that, now this is a roof I can't jump to, <coughs> and it has no nothing really special about it. Okay, let's go look out at the uh, gun store. Wait, we have a door here. Why do we have a door here? This is uh, another bathroom. Caffeine pills, alcohol wipes. Okay. More clothing. We got a great coat, but it wouldn't fit me. Nano skirt? Must be a really small skirt. <coughs> Pick through that window. Oh, I can't really see much out there. I was hoping to see the uh, gun store roof. <coughs> Is this the gun store right here? So I can see out across that street to the bank. Gun store should be over here. But it's, not, it's saying that roof is lower, I guess? Or it's one more tile down, perhaps. Huh, okay. 
Here's a nice big roof. It's the roof of a what? This is the oh now still I like this. We got a great big house and a big a big 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 roof there. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Let's have a look here. Can't jump to this one. We got another building right beside us. Might be able to hop down and hop right back up because I think there's a drain here. Looks like. Yep. Gutter drop. So I got easy climb right here, but how am I going to get back up? Anyway, it looks like if I open the window, I can go out on this roof. So let's see. Um, is it E or just this way? Oh, we just do this. Uh-oh. Spotted, spotted a feral human. Already. Oh, man. He's on that roof to the south. That house that I was interested in. Look at that. Oh, hey. Okay. That house is huge. Because I'm not looking at the house roof. I'm looking in through the window. What do you think about that? I think. I think that's the case. Let's go up. Can I, I can't raise my view up and down. There's a feral human right over there. Let's uh, go into examine mode. Flip down here and see if he's... Yeah. Does it say this is a roof? No, this is a concrete wall. This house is like a three-story structure then. And I'm looking into the house. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So that gutter drop that I was looking at before. Oh, it was over here. There is no gutter drop here. I was going to say, can I crawl all the way up this house and then come down from the top? That's what I'd like to do. Can't tell yet. I'm going to go ahead and hop out. Open the window and walk outside. By the way, I'm digging the outfit and the mask icon on here that's pretty dang cool oh we've got a ladder up look here dress shirt pants shorts and ski pants ah. I have to go to the roof so I can be a superhero hey lawn dart haha <laughs> oh we've got power here so I've got a solar panel I could connect to the grid What's connected right now, or, or, or disconnected as it may be? A cooling unit? That's not handy. A uh, water heater? Probably has water in it. Let's look. Store which drink? Oh, I can put things in the water heater. Can I put a funnel on it? That is a question. Connect the large water purifier to the grid. Hmm, interesting. And is this uh, for golf purposes? What is this flag here? Oh, it's a cell phone signal booster. Okay, so we can take that apart for some purpose. Now we've gotten above all the other structures except for the house I'm kind of um, maybe possibly interested in. It doesn't have a solar panel mounted on it that I can see. It does have gutter access to the roof though it looks like from right here. Yep, so if I got on that side of that house I could probably climb all the way up to the roof. Then I couldn't get inside though. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Interesting. If I check my map now, I ought to be able to see buildings that are as tall as I am currently. Which includes, there's that house. The, the boxing gym is that high. Here's the house I've been looking at. Mostly we've got some three-story houses in this town. And I expected to see apartment buildings. There's another gun store, and it's taller than the other one. The bakery is this a uh, ooh parking garage? That's probably not a good place to live. Butcher shop. For some reason, it's all in red. Ah, oh, there's a church over here. Hmm, craft shop, upper roof section. Yeah, no apartment buildings. Uh, surprisingly, no giant office towers. Huh. And there's a homeless shelter way down there. Hmm. All right. Well, what's the plan now? What time of day is it? Spring, day 61, morning. For some reason, I guess it's the tile pack. It just looks kind of dark. Can I step here? Yeah, and then I can go down. Yeah, everything looks dark in this tile pack. So I, I expect to see the brightness, you know, effect, but I think I'll get used to it. 
I got a bottle of something over here on this roof. And uh, you know what I haven't done is take a peer down and look at uh, the zombies. There's the Gunstar roof. I see it now. I'm going to go to this corner right here. Let's take a peer down. Peek. Peek. There we go. Oh my god. What is happening down here? Wasps. Wasps are going at it with the uh, tough zombies. That's a dead wasp. We got a zombie dog. This zombie's almost dead. We got dead zombies. Dead wasps. Did the wasps lose the battle? Looks like the wasps may have lost the battle. I got a hazmat zombie here. Hey, wow. So we're starting out in the middle of it, looks like. What's this here? Bruised corpse of a decayed zombie. I can see what he's even got on him there. I wasn't looking at inventory items here. Yeah, that does show a few inventory items. Okay. So I can see this guy's got an SD card. The wasp, the uh, malted milk balls. Ballistic vest. Yeah. Anybody got a... Uh, I mean, I don't even know if I need to think about a gun because this I think this baseball bat's going to serve me well. Plus, I've got the armor that I started with. Why does that say restaurant? Am I looking at the side of a building here? I guess I am. But is it collapsed or what? Because that doesn't look right. Something looks wrong about this. We got this. Oh, okay. Now, this is the establishment I live in. We've got broken glass. One of the uh, the hazmat zombie <coughs> is already inside the, uh, the restaurant that we're working in. What a catastrophe. Good for me, though, because that kind of clears out the front end a little bit. The restaurant right next to me looks like a little ice cream shop or something, maybe. Huh. How's this car look? Not good. It's got chunks of steel falling off of it. We've got a little public park here, and it's not overpopulated. That's nice to see. And what's the gun store looking like? Oh, I can actually see items inside the gun store. There's a zombie inside there already, then some sights. He just killed a human being inside here. And the gun store is getting all torn apart. We've got an ammo pouch in there. Oh, nice. A little American flag out front. Battered, but not torn down. And this must be the ATM machines near the bank. Alright, fantastic. Well, that gave me a little bit of a look at what's out there in the world, anyway could hop across and go look at the back I think I can just jump over there oh yeah they're breaking stuff underneath see I can't just go down there because once I go down there well, maybe I could can I go down there and just fight one of the, here he comes here he comes now what do you think you're doing you're gonna go get yourself killed aren't you you're investigating the noise from the roof I'm going to follow this guy down there, but I'll lock myself back in here if he gets out of control. Don't you jump out the window. Did he go this way, probably? Let's go look. No. This is where you scan your mask to, uh, to get into the rest of the restaurant. Once that door opens, though, you better be able to handle whatever's there. I don't know. I think you can shut it back. I'm not sure I ever survived long enough to find out. What do we got right here? <gasps> five medium disposable batteries on full charge wow can I carry all that no I can carry one I have reached my limit I believe of things that I can carry of course I need to go set the uh, books down somewhere so I don't need to carry them with me oh no I got them all four medium and two medium disposable batteries holy cow so I could connect one of those batteries to the grid, maybe. And then have access to this equipment, I think. There, see, you got a household dishwasher. Not that I particularly want to connect a dishwasher to the grid, but there's a sink there. And what else do we have? 
Yeah. What if I uh, connect an... Uh, can I... Medium disposable battery. Maybe you can't connect those to the grid, though. I'm not sure about that. And there's a refrigerator that would possibly be connected to the grid. And a nice little hoard of uh, food and drinks here. Huh. Interesting. So, if I was going to wait for night to come, I'd probably sit down here on the couch, get really comfortable, and... Uh, Read until night, just read, munch, drink, practice some skills possibly. Close that window just in case wasps might want to try to come flying in, right? I want to go jump over onto that roof. Are you cool? You need to be cool. I'm going to go try to jump over on that roof and get a view of things. Jump over. You are too burdened. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. What if we started a little... No, we need shelter over our heads. I was going to say, why don't we just go up there and start us a little place. But Because um, that would be super safe, even if the zombies penetrate the rest of it. It would be a great place to flee to. I don't know if we could um, lure them to fall off. At any point, that would be nice. That would that would solve some problems, wouldn't it? Um, I'm just gonna go stash my books over here, next to this one. Drop over here, and we can unload all of our books because that's gonna be our reading nook. And then I'm gonna drop over here all of our batteries, just because they'll be nice and visible there. Hopefully, let's look. Yeah, I think I can tell that those are batteries. And right here I'm going to put my snacks and stuff. And my medicine. And my soldering iron. There we go. Now we should be able to jump it. Jump over. Oh yeah, look at that. How cool. What do we got here? Yeah, a glass bottle of vermouth. And inside here, another water purifier, water heater, and a standing tank. It's not telling me that there's any liquid in that standing tank, however. And we've got another solar panel. And I can't get across to this roof. Which also has a cell phone repeater on it. Oh, look at the, all the skylights over here. What is this building? Subway station. Wow. You think that's just like a mad hellscape over there? That would be my guess. But who knows? I'm curious. I want to explore it. I'm going to peer down and see how many zombies we've got over here. Actually, not too bad for having expected a whole field full of them. Uh got one there. I can't see the front of the uh, subway station very well. Oh, here we go. Two. I could use my view mode button. There's a zombie cop right here. I actually don't want to fight him for his armor, but if he had a gun on him, that'd be cool. Oh, yeah. We're in the dense city. There's a downspout right there. Okay. I can get up on the subway station roof without too much trouble. Do I have a return spout? Yeah, look here. I got a way back up and out. So this staircase leads back into the restaurant, and then I'm sure there's probably windows in the back that connect to here. What kind of a book we got over here? Crafty Crafters Quarterly. A book on capitalism and a book on warships. Pool ball you could throw at somebody's head, and some home brewed beer and a mayong set. Hmm. Is this a pool out back? Shallow pool of water. Y'all, we got everything we need to survive right here. If I'd taken uh, cannibalism and strong stomach to eat rotten meat, we'd just be totally set. We could live here forever. Hmm. Interesting. So, where are we going to base? Where is our base? I don't think there's enough resources in our starting restaurant. Honestly 
to uh, to do much of anything as far as maybe I could live for a couple days there and I'm gonna have to move on to the next building and it may be a matter of jumping from building to building for a while uh, so that building like that one right there say I go down uh, oh, 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 I could, uh, can I jump to that building? No, because there's no connecting wall, I don't think. Well, maybe. What is this? That's a wall. Yeah, no, I can't get over here to jump because I'm too high up. And here I'm too high up. I can't jump from the windows. Right here, if I could go through the wall, I could jump, looks like. Huh. I don't think I want to jump down from above. So we've got a rain gutter right here. So if I wanted to... Uh-oh, look what they've broken right here. If I wanted to, I could go down and up right there just to do some exploration. Do we have a rain gutter on this side anywhere? No, I can't jump this way. Hmm... What's the answer then? What is the answer? I want to go for the gun store. But you know what? I may not have a lot. You know what's probably best, considering the carnage down there on the street, is actually to go down into, the, into my restaurant here and see if I can't go have a look at some of those bodies. Maybe loot something. Let's grab this bottle of vermouth. No items were selected. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, it doesn't fit in any pocket. That's why. Wow. Well, let's just take a drink of it then. What? Oh, here. The quaff. The quaff menu. Uh, quaff a little bit of that. That'll give you a little bit of... Uh, you lost the foodless conduct. You feel lightheaded. All right, good. We drank some vermouth. Now let's attempt to jump. <laughs> yeah, we can still jump lightheaded. You try to keep your balance. Uh-huh. Feeling a little dizzy. Let's go scan our mask. See what happens. I want to have a look downstairs. So if we examine this, we place the mask on the reader. And it says, hello food person, welcome home. So, yeah, thanks for the alert there. That was a, uh, oh, that was a sound zero alert, it says. Huh. Oh, oops. That made some sound. What do we got here? Which one, what kind of zombie is that? Oh, of course, immediately. The first one, zombie runner. Then we got two regular zombies, hazmat zombie, and a tough zombie. The nice thing is, I can funnel them all right here. I don't even have to, and if I need to, I can flee straight upstairs. But here's my question. Okay, if I put the mask on the reader, it closes the door back. All right, let's go for some combat. See how many of these guys we can kill. Wait, can they see me? Can he see me? None of them can see me. They're going to hear something if they ever come over here, though. Hmm. Might as well take a step forward and let one of them see me. Anybody see me? Nobody sees me? Oh, yep, that one does. Alright, I'm going to back up and fight him right here in the doorway because they're probably going to pile up. He clawed at my torso. I hit him for 21 damage and 23 damage and sent him reeling. Bam! Look at that. Three hits. That sucker is out. Now, my question is whether uh, his corpse is going to block the doorway so we can find out. What if I press the mask on there? Lock the doors? Yeah. What does it say? The nearby doors are already unlocked. What if I hit C to close? There's nothing that can be closed. Um, is that because his corpse is in the way? Oh my god, my dude is grinning. He's happy, so he's got a grin on his face. How cool is that? Oh, I can see the little I drank alcohol icon and the dizziness look. Did I increase my... 
That gave me some kind of increase from drinking that vermouth. What is it? Happy. Depressants. Painkillers. I guess that vermouth does it all. What if I tried to uh, move that body out of the way like so? Can't put items there. Oh. This direction. Oh, wait. I'm standing on the staircase? Yeah. Okay, so this direction and this direction. You can't put items there. That body's in the way. So I don't think I can shut the door. Alright. My question is, is anybody else coming? Yeah, there's somebody coming. I just heard him walking around. Hey, come on, uh, come on down. You're the next contestant. No? Can't I move forward? Okay, the, zo the, the body is blocking the door. Do I have to grab the body to get it out of the door? Grab that. There's nothing to grab there. Okay, what if I... Uh yeah, he's definitely got stuff. Alright, um... That's interesting. Hmm. So what I wanted to do... Yeah, I can't look in that direction with my advanced inventory menu, and I can't grab him. So I would have to actually pick him up. Let me smash him. Now, once I've smashed him, my question is, can I grab him? There's nothing to grab there. And can I use that area as an inventory right now? No, I cannot. Alright, can we do um, the all? All nine squares, there's nothing. Is my filter on? No. That's very curious. I still can't move on to that square. Did I shut the door? Maybe I shut the door. Okay, let's examine, put the mask on the reader. Ah, oh, it's because the door shut on the body. You press your face on the reader, the nearby doors are unlocked. Okay, okay, now that makes sense. Anybody coming? All right, now I'm gonna scoot the body out of the way. I can do this. Nope, I still can't do that. If I do all, it still doesn't show it. Can I grab? Nope, I still can't grab. Can I move? Oh, oh, okay, the door was literally shut. Even though it was unlocked. Okay, excellent. This is a regular zombie here. She grabs me, bites me, I battered her, she claws me, I batter her real hard, and then knock her plum out. Bam! I haven't, I haven't taken that much damage. I've taken a couple little points of damage, but this armor's done me done me a solid. You find yourself no longer grabbed. Yes, indeed. And is anything ripped? No, everything's in fine shape. We're good. I'm going to step up, see what she had on her. Caffeinated chewing gum, zipper bag. I don't need no nicotine liquid. Advanced elect... No, I don't need the electronic cigarette either. Okay. I forgot to look at what he had. So we, we want to take the mini lighter, the MP3 player, the SD card, and the cell phone? Why not? Get everything picked up. Smash her body. Zombie cop spotted. Okay, stop smashing. Take a step back. That way we're doing this one at a time. Uh-oh, here comes a hazmat zombie. He grabbed me. Bam! And knocked him back. 17, 19, 22. Oh, I battered him into nothing. What's he got on him? Nothing. I think I knocked his corpse away. Yeah, I sure did. His corpse is all the way over here. So we've got a radiation badge and a wallet. And some nicotine liquid. Hmm. E uh, so some of this stuff is his and some of this stuff belongs to the other zombie. Let's go ahead and smash him up. Alright, this is going considerably better than um, I expected it to. So I'm going to have a look down here. How many zombies we have left? Got a zombie cop. Which one is the zombie cop? It's hard for me to read this. I see the squares. Oh, oh, I see it now. What are those little green squares, I wonder? Uh, anyway. So, that's the cop right there. The one that's standing in the broken glass. 
The tough zombie is the one that looks kind of like a vampire. The fat zombie looks like it uh, may be a lady. And we've got a zombie dog right here. Now, a lot of these guys have already taken some damage and are injured. And I think I can handle the whole group, to be honest. Hmm. Go ahead and step out here. See if anybody notices me. Okay, I got noticed by one guy. Is he gonna come or did he lose me already? Yeah. Yeah, one hit wonder. I got a bunch of stuff on him. Lighter, MP3 player, chewing tobacco. Grab his wallet. Can I get the alcohol wipes also? See if I can get all that stuff. And then we can go ahead and smash him and shut the doors. <clears throat> Boom. Lock them doors. Bam. Oh, yeah. Actually, this is really handy. So I can come up here and restore my uh, stamina at my own convenience. Uh, we got all these little items. Let's just drop everything we haven't sorted out yet right here. The lighter, the mini lighter, the MP3 player, the, that, the chewing gum, and the miscellaneous, and the wipes, and the zipper bag. And I want to do an unload on the zipper bag. And is there anything else I can unload that I want to unload? No. What was in the zipper bag then? Ah, uh, cocaine. Okay. Uh, I've also got, oh, a permanent marker, smartphone, cocaine. Now, did that get rid of the zipper bag? Yeah, it did. Let's wait until our uh, stamina recovers. Alright, we're still doing good. Still doing good. Is our friend still here, or where did he go? Interestingly, I think he may have stepped out on the roof. Oh, where'd our, uh, where'd our buddy go? Hmm. I know he didn't go downstairs. I'll bet he jumped out this window. Mark Crump says, are you hurt? Uh, wait a minute. Why did I say, are you hurt? Is, uh, let's peer down there. Got a zombie cop in the alley. Yeah, we need to spend some more time clearing out the zombies downstairs. We'll do that in the next episode. Thanks for joining me for episode one. Mark Crump, the true food person. See you next time.